Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. My name is Rahmat and it's always a pleasure coming your way. I have some very disturbing news today and I just want us to have a talk about the COVID-19 situation in my beloved country, Ghana. I am not so excited today because of the speech that my president gave yesterday. Usually when he comes out to speak, we are expecting something big, something good to come out of it. But yesterday, uh, not much. When uh, Ghana recorded four COVID-19 cases, the president put a ban on all social events, including worshipping. And then yeah. schools, all schools were closed, from primary school to tertiary, were all closed down indefinitely, which we all applauded. When we recorded six cases, he put a ban on all traveling. All traveling was banned. Nobody was allowed to travel into the country and no one was allowed to travel outside the country. And all our borders were shut down completely. When we recorded, then the cases shot up to 141. And we recorded five deaths. And then he imposed a partial lockdown on the epicenters, being Accra, Kumasi, and Kaswa, and some other places, which we all applauded, and we're all encouraged to stay home. And the cases shot up to 378. And then, that was on Monday, uh, 13th, April. Then the president added one more week, one more week of the lockdown. We were all expecting two weeks anyways, but we got one more week, which was still good for us. Yesterday, the president has come out to address the nation once again, and now our case count is at 1,042. Even after the lockdown, our cases have shot up to 1,042, and we understand there are 18,000 samples that have been tested, and the results are yet to come out. We don't know what the result is going to be. And then uh, City, City TV here in Ghana conducted a survey on social media yesterday. And 80% of the people of Ghana said that the president should add two more weeks of lockdown and actually make it a nationwide lockdown. 15% of the people said he should extend the lockdown for two more weeks but he should just maintain it in only Accra and Kumasi. 5%, only 5% said the president should lift the lockdown. And then the big news we got from the president's speech was that the lockdown has been lifted completely. There is no lockdown in Ghana. Oh my God. We are all going to die. That was what I said to myself the minute I heard him say that nationwide lockdown has been lifted. And here is why I think it has been lifted. I think this is just a political, politically motivated decision by the president. Because he's, he's been given so much pressure from the opposition. And he has allowed the pressure to get to him. They're trying, he's trying his best. He's giving us free water. For some people, he's even giving us uh, free electricity. He's giving us a free, so many free things. He's going around giving free food, cooked and uncooked, and the, the opposition is still giving him pressure and saying the food is not enough. People are still coming out and crying that they haven't had enough food, that the food is not enough, that the food is not of good quality, that they have to struggle for the food and all that. They are tired. So in order to save themselves the pressure, they have decided to lift the lockdown altogether. But how does this help us? How does this help in the fight against the virus? This is like throwing us to the wolves. I am appealing to you, Mr. President, please, please, and please again, please do something about this. Please go back to the drawing board and then change that decision you have made. This is not going to help us. We have children. We have children. People go out. The minute you say it's uh, you, uh, people can go out, they are going to be going about left, right, center, even if they don't have anything to do. So please do something. We were expecting stricter measures this time. We were expecting that you you will extend the lockdown period and then save us. 
And to my Ghanaian brothers and sisters, please, if the president has said the lockdown has been lifted, does not mean it is safe for you to get out there. It is still not safe. Now more than ever, it's not safe for you to get out there. So stay home and stay safe. It is still not safe out there. If only you have the microscopic eyes to see what the virus is like out there. You wouldn't step beyond your door. I urge you all, stay home and stay safe. Wash your hands regularly. Thank you.